Hello guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Bill and Ted. So come on, let's get started. My excellent friends, have you seen it? By the time this video drops, Bill and Ted Face the Music dropped four days ago. And guys, it's not bad. For those of you unfamiliar with Bill and Ted, they had the most excellent adventure back in 1988. They had a sequel, which was a bogus journey, that was released in 1991. There are some differences of opinion with some friends of mine with the quality of bogus journey, but... So you may be asking yourself, Paul, why are you talking about Bill and Ted movies? Well, my excellent friends, just like every other successful franchise in the 70s and 80s, they turned it into an animated series for Saturday mornings. No way. No way. Yes way, Ted! Despite the lack of quality, we got some really great designing out of this series. The character designs were, I thought, very appealing the way they were able to caricature the actors and have it not hinder the animation, I thought was a job well done. As a matter of fact, it influenced my character designs back at that time. Uh, my character of myself was very heavily influenced by that character design of that series. At any rate, let's dive into villain set. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing in Bill. Bill's character design is slightly shorter in stature than Ted. So what I do is I kind of figure out the height of one of the characters and then move on to the next. Uh, but let's um, let's map in. Um, let's see, so we've got his head shape like so. Um, and then... I'm just going to, because I got to figure out both characters at the same time. Um, let's let's just throw in his body. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Let's see, body, which is just um, double the torso. This is very much a free-flowing animated series. It was very rubbery, very cartoony. It didn't have the structure that Batman the Animated Series had. But then again, we didn't have Batman the Animated Series yet. So what we're gonna do, uh, the production illustrations that they would use would have the guys standing with their hands on their hips and Ted would be leaning on Bill's shoulder. Now let's push that out a little further. Yeah, I like that better. And then like I said, um, Ted, Ted is a little taller than Bill and instead of the circle and the jaw, Ted's head shape was an egg shape just like that. Where his eyes are going to go. Bill's eyes are going to go like that. Um, let's worry about the hairstyle later. Okay, like I said, he's going to be leaning on Bill's shoulder. So, the shoulders are going to be sh up there like that. Um, chest cavity. And then it goes in like so. And we already know where the floor is going to be. So, let's just... Throw in some lanky legs, and we're going to throw the costume over it in a minute. When I was initially designing my own character of myself, that I, you'll see in all my branding, the... Um, I just ripped the shoes right off of these guys. 
It wasn't until years later when I realized that that's why I drew the shoes that way. I hadn't seen the show in a while. All right, so we've got the pose down. I've got everything kind of blocked out. Now we just need to clean it up and throw in some details. Now when designing these characters, they were very heavily influenced by the actual features of the actors. Alex Winter has um, very round eyes uh, and heavy eyelids. So they incorporated those in nicely with his uh, kind of hooked nose. Where with Keanu Reeves, they would give him um, some beady eyes and a very um, uh, wide mouth. So we've got the eyebrows in. The eyelids look pretty on model. I'm just gonna shade in those eyes. I always start with the eyes when working on Bill. I say always like I draw them a lot today. So he has a crooked nose. And they utilize that in the design. To those of you who have not yet seen the Bill and Ted movies, you gotta remember they're a product of the 80s and early 90s. Back in the 80s, there was a different vernacular than what's appropriate today, and the guys uh, teased each other by calling each other names that in no way you'd be able to get away with today. So I'm just letting you know, um, if you haven't seen the films yet and you go to see them because of this, um, sorry. Give him a lower lip. And then we need to push his thin chin and then round out that jaw. Alex Winter has very rounded ears, and they incorporated that nicely in the character design. Like so. And then we're just going to give him that big curly head of hair. Notice, guys, it's nothing but grouped circles and circular shapes, and there you have it. It's, it's very much a product of the 80s, so it's a little wild and zany, but that's how we liked it then. Okay. Now there is one detail on the head that I have yet to put in, and that is, he has a bit of a rat tail. It was the 80s, what do you want? And there you go. So there's Bill's character design right there. Let's just kind of throw in his costume. I'm gonna give him bit of a barreled chest pose, right? And what we're gonna do is uh, figure out the underdrawing of his torso first. It's very rubbery um, in design, so we don't have to worry about, about um, anatomy because it's very almost rubber hose animation type. So Bill's costume is a cut up uh, gray sweatshirt and remember, it was the it was the '80s. Um, guys were very open with their midriffs. 
<laughs> at that time, I wasn't, but we all knew that guy. And uh, so that's why this shirt kind of comes out a little bit. It's a sweatshirt that he cut up. Um, and we've got the torn sleeves of that sweatshirt, just like so. Feel free to throw those tears wherever you want, but they go right about there. And the same thing with this side. So, we're gonna have his arm. Like so. And then after I throw the arm and then I know where to throw in that torn sleeve. All right, let's throw in this arm while we're working on arms. And I'm gonna give him the open palm His relaxed fingers just like that all right now to add insult to injury to the 80s pop culture he wore a button-down shirt over his sweatshirt but that didn't last very long in the movie so he tied it around his waist so we've got this it wasn't flannel may as well have been off like this we wore a lot of layers in the 80s a lot of layers not only that but we rolled up the bottoms of our jeans or we tucked them into our sneakers So the sneakers were designed like this. They wore Converse Chucks. And instead of throwing in all of those laces, they just threw in a couple across. hand over here. Oh, so now let's work on Ted. Keanu Reeves has these dark small eyes, right? So they they answered that question by giving him just beady eyes, kind of like the Flintstones, where um, Fred would have whites to his eyes, but Barney would just have these little dots. He has a wider nose, so they widened that out. And then, they gave him a very big, friendly smile. This was from back in the day where Keanu Reeves was a lighter, more bubbly character. The guy used to smile, instead of all the brooding that he does now. side we'll tuft the hair here and then we'll just meet it there okay so Ted had a long neck wore a t-shirt 
underneath a vest. I'm gonna draw lightly because I'm gonna overlap with a, with his hand here. But he wore a vest over his t-shirt. They didn't overcomplicate design by putting a design on the shirt. It's probably a good move. You're drawing 12 frames a second for TV animation, throwing in a character design on a t-shirt. It's very expensive. <laughs> so, okay. So now, let's, let's uh, fix this arm here. Okay. His hand. Okay, taking a little bit of liberty here, but not much. Okay, so he has these very, very baggy, baggy sleeves to his t-shirt. I had many shirts that were that kind of baggy. I'm just gonna shade in the vest. This side. Let's see. Very baggy t shirt. single sweatband right over his wrist like that okay let's shade in the vest on this side okay so now he wears these very baggy sweatpants shorts and they go let's see actually before we do that let's, let's figure out and I know where the legs are, so may as well darken that in and work my way up. Okay, so Ted wore thick baggy shorts over sweatpants. No, it doesn't make sense, but a lot of fashion did not make sense in the 80s. I'm not quite sure you'd call this fashion, but it happened. And it happened a lot, so. <laughs> so we've got these rolled up sweatpants. underneath the orange shorts and then very thick tube socks rolled down down toward the bottom here Bit. Make it make sense. There we go. Again, he's wearing Converse Chucks. And they just put a couple laces over it. Yes! 
Excellent! Yay! See, the beauty about these character designs is that if you want to change their look from film to film, you just have to change their costume. You throw a backwards hat on Bill and give him a flannel shirt. With Ted, you change his hairstyle and give him a heavier shirt. Um, if you want to change them from uh, these movies to Bill and Ted Face the Music, you just throw a, a longer laugh line on Bill. And with Ted, you whip that smile off his face and give him that brooding brow. <gasps> Guys, thank you so much for drawing with me. If you like this video, I've got some other videos right over here for you that'll be a great follow-up. I want to thank you, my excellent friends, for joining me today. And listen, be excellent to each other. And party on, dudes. We'll see you next time. Ted, you and I have witnessed many things, but nothing as bodacious as what just happened.